Already we're seeing about a dozen folks in here already utilizing these services. And for the last several days, the Ryland National Guard has been here getting things set up and getting things ready. As you can see behind me, some members are here now setting up cots for these folks. We now know the, the organization that will be running the operation here full time. The governor's office has announced that Amos House has received approval to operate this warming station. A few days ago, 50 members of the Rhode Island National Guard were activated to set up this warming station that will provide short term housing for homeless Rhode Islanders. The National Guard has been here all week setting up about 50 cots, delivering blankets, water, and portable bathrooms. The shelter also has a medical facility, a cafeteria and gathering space, and an office where provider services will be available to people. Now, over the next several days, the governor's office says the Amos House folks will be working alongside the members of the Rhode Island National Guard to ensure a smooth transition to operate this warming station. Again, things open here to the public full time now, this 24 7 warming station here at the Cranston Street Armory. For now, live in Providence, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.